Nine. Hey, John, who do you think would win? Or Isaiah, because John's not listening. Who do you think would win in a fight? Uh, Ray Lewis or Iron Man? <laughs> <laughs> you like that? It might be closer than I was thinking. Right. Like the real Iron Man, not the act, not not like the character. Like if there was a real Iron Man. Yeah. I don't know, right? You don't know? And Iron Man. And Metal World Peace in there, too. Dude, Metal World Peace is crazy, dude. He'll probably beat them both up. That's it. I wouldn't go in a cell with that guy. He's actually a really nice guy. From what I hear. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, man. Iron Man without the suit. He get Iron, No way. No way Iron Man without the suit can beat Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis is... Dude, he, he's, he's, he's a big dude. All right. 86 football. Yeah. Oh, George, I'm saying, you know, we went through this with somebody else a while back, and I don't remember who it was. It kept, maybe it was, uh, I want to say it was Hector. He kept getting the first pop, but I don't know if it was him or not. But uh, luckily, the gum didn't really stick. Passing leader. I think this is the Marino. No, it's Montana and Ken O'Brien. All right, I got another one. Who do you think would win in a fight? Um, <clears throat> Popeye. You know what Popeye is right. Popeye or Fred Flintstone on steroids. Um, Stalwart. I want to go with Popeye. Yeah, because all he needs is spinach. That was like his steroids. You ever eat spinach? Like the spinach that he would eat out of the can? No, no, Dude, no, it's no. disgusting. I got tortured. My my parents would, would would give that to me. Oh, that's what Popeye eats, dude. It's it's literally the most disgusting. It, it looks like seaweed right out of the middle of like the the uh, <coughs> Hudson River. That's what it looks like. Somebody just went to the Hudson River, scooped out whatever's on the bottom, <coughs> left like the uh, the the animal carcasses and the, and the, and like the human remains, and, and then just canned the rest. That's what it looks like. <coughs> and that's what it tastes like. It's vile. It was all propaganda, right? Because, you know, like, they wanted kids to eat <clears throat> the spinach back in the day. How do you do it? You want to be big and strong like Popeye. Then you see big, fat kids eating spinach. Didn't do anything for them. <clears throat> Saying. Ungraded hit random. 45 a spot. We need to sell those 10 spots in the next 15 minutes so somebody gets a free <clears throat> spot in the uh, in the high roller bonus promo for that 66 Namath SGC8. Right. You might find the remnants of the 52 tops dump. You know? All right, here you go. Walter Payton. Unfortunately, it's stuck to the glossy in the middle for Wesley. Still a Payton. Here we go. Joe K. Love it. Spot Two spots in the 79 Peachy Hockey going for Wayne Gretzky. By the way, I pulled two, out of, two Jordans out of the last three packs of 86 Fleer basketball. What are the odds, right? <clears throat> so we have a 79 Peachy Hockey uh, pack. We have 10 spots left. Let's close that tonight, guys. Everybody that buys a spot in the in the uh, 79 Peachy Hockey, we're going to start with Joe K. We're going to bump that up to a $250 entry into the high roller bonus, but only going to do it till 8.30. So let's see how many spots we can sell in 79 Peachy. So you give Joe, he gets uh, two extra okay. because he got one, and then give him an, another two. Okay. <clears throat> All right. What's up? Here you go, Mikey. We have a $15 bonus. It's going to be running from 8 to 9. One hour, five dollar bonus promo. It's fifteen dollar bonus promo. Eight to nine. So we're giving away five prizes. Fifty three separate spot. It's all PSA graded. Sixty one tops. Bob Gibson. Nineteen prism uh, collegiate draft picks. Cello pack. Ninety nine trait set sealed. Could be a uh, CC Sabathia certified auto rookie in there. And a nineteen fifty five Bowman set break spot. Also, first five different entries will also get a sixty four baseball set break spot as an added. Bonus. Okay. Let's move those 79 Peachy spots, guys, shall we? Here's a Joe Morris for George. It's the extra card. I have this habit of sometimes writing the player's name, apparently, on the on the post-it. <clears throat> Johnny gives me a lot of crap for that. 
All right, Seth. Thank you, friend. Sam, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Vintage breaks. Don't miss out. Guys, this is coming from the bottom of my very soul that I'm sitting here right now. <clears throat> so help me close that 79 on Peachy. Here's Bill Moss. I always thought it was Kevin Moss's brother, but I don't think so. Can somebody confirm? Butch Wolfuck. Curtis Greer. Here's a here's a rookie, former MVP, Boomer Siason. Good booms. Booms. Nice dude, Boomer Siason. Really tall, by the way. Six foot four. Definitely every inch of six foot four. <clears throat> Saints. Mike Haynes. How are we doing on the uh, bonuses? We still have uh, ungraded diamonds. Great. We still have $5 bonus. $5 bonus. Yeah. We got a lot of stuff going on here, guys. Browns looks like we're short a card, so Russ D, you're going to get your money back. We got an extra 84 football, we're short an 86 football. You'll get a break credit, Russ, as per usual. Cool, Eric. I've, I haven't opened up an 86 football box in many, many years. It's been a while. Bless you, whoever that was.